Hey guys, so Sasuke here with a game you probably received by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, Thursday, June 28th at uh, 3.55 a.m. And yes, it's Akami. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kamika. I can't pronounce Kamik or something. <laughs> I will eventually get the names right, eventually. The details of a horrible beast that level level up just takes my bypass. It also tells of a wolf that first it's all to protect them. Hopefully you can hear them, hear me. Trolling the very fabric of existence. This wolf stood <coughs> and gets the beast many times its size. It vanished, blah blah. Takes three too fast. You read. <coughs> well, how long is this intro? Um, I'm gonna say, a year ago I was like looking around on uh, the internet and looking for Zelda dish like games and uh I saw some videos of Kami and for the PS2. This is um this is the PS no the PS this is the Wii version. Yeah I'm playing the Wii version. And I was gonna originally plan to play uh Kami in September of twenty ten, but Fallout three came was a lot longer than I thought. So I didn't now, um, then, like, in December, someone, someone I do watch a lot, you know, did a Let's Play, so I watched a whole entire Let's Play of it, but the game looks so friggin' fun, I, 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 I must play it. I also played Akami Den for the DS, and that was a fun game. Yeah, goddamn controls. Okay, yes, there he goes. And, um... I really enjoyed that. You probably already know if you watched uh, the in video, final video of Pikmin. Because I was sitting there and like had to wait uh, like a whole day just to end the game. And I didn't want to do anything, really. Really, it's like I gave up on the end boss. And I'm like, screw it. I'm not doing it, man. And I just, um, just their placement can't be done. Well, I, I beat it like a few months ago. I forget when I beat it. Right? Anyways, um, <coughs> yeah, yeah, we already know the settings and all that stuff, um, so yeah, like I was saying, I originally planned to play it blind, it's a good thing I didn't play blind, there's some things I, I don't know, no, the game looks, uh, I don't know, we're, we're gonna continue on. Okami! Okami, you shut up, shut up, I'm so sorry, it's, it, it, no, never mind kinda tired and I just wanna get started so next time I record I can, uh, start up. I wonder how the watching and playing is gonna be totally different. I don't, I don't, ah, the brush techniques and stuff. Oh my god, we're gonna see the same thing over again? Long, long ago, a tiny, no, okay, no, it's different. A tiny hamlet known as Chemic. Whatever. Lay nested, nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg, quiet burg was honored as a god. This font's kind of annoying. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. <coughs> Just um to salutate. The appetite of Roach. Oh god, even watching this let's play I always forgot the names of each fucking Rochi Rochi God damn it. Demon. There there you go. I don't wanna say that. A fearsome cave dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and a eight heads. Mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. 
Oh man, I wish I had some crystal light um, energy or focus. When the night of the sacrifice drew near. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> Sorry that about that. I was meant to put my headset up, but oh, it was too. Never mind. Yeah, near, near. A mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf its coat as brilliant as snow was to sure knew he. Uh, I say that right. Full shit. The wolf kept its kept a watchful, a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of, habit well, a habit of trolling the streets at night. Keep you assume the wolf to be a familiar of road. Oh, what a headache! I just want to get this let's play started. Really, that's all I wanted to do. One villager took it upon himself to face the fair sanctuary. <laughs> the warrior Naga soon attempted to um, I don't know, attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shinri's swift movements. <coughs> Before long, the night of the cursed festival had arrived. A white plumed, 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 whoever, arrow herald coming, sapphire guys, whoever, piercing the sky. The arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by the sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi, 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 or once and for all, Nagi, Naga, Nagi, whatever, traveled to the beast's cave in the place of his beloved. Cave is a place of dark as evil itself. I'm so monotone right now. Like always. Served as Orochi's home. I'm pretty sure that. Orochi's uh, home as Nagi stewed us bravely. That doesn't look like a T, it looks like an L. Stood. Stood. Bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Roji stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leaped with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly, whatever, and on and on he sliced well into the moonless night. But Orochi hide was like still the blade left nearly a scratch. Eight minutes in. We're still in an intro. At long last, Nagi has energy spent from the incredible well, intense bow. Dropped to his knees, fatigued. <laughs> I'm fatigued, fucking neck. My neck is hurting too, it's weird. And grasping for breath, he knew he was staring, staring death into the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. Of it, as if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brightly. Oh, did I tell you that I like? Games that actually has voice acting where it reads it to you instead of you have to read it. Yeah. <laughs> Alas, it was Shirinui, the wolf that dwelt outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shirinui leaped towards Roji. Roji repaired, repaired, reared, reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggle wildly, thrashing 
in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shinuri summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Roshi's flames. <coughs> well, that's gonna be hard. To me, I never played. To, yeah, you know what I mean. So Roshi closed in on Shinuri, sharpened claws, glistening. Yeah, a giant, yeah, um, giant tent. Giant. A giant tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shearing we thought. Quantity to gain the upper hand. However, did I tell you I hate this font? Starting to. <laughs> Archie, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shinuri covered him in gashes. Oh, I don't want to read anymore. Stood exhausted before the mighty hero. Uh, <laughs> can I read? Stop reading. Yeah, I, 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 I said, I say, yeah, I'm gonna stop reading. Or, no, never mind. Roshi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but she refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The wolf gazed heavenly, heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. So, down. The light from uh, above glinted it off, and I soared as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who has been talking, taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his. As Murray's Weber, shelling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms, he leapt cautiously towards Murphy, his sword posed high, the golden sword of annoyance, no skin, danced in his hands like a puppet on string, one by one, Roshi fearsome head separated from his own, their owner. Can I go to bed? Murphy's broken body collapsed in a lake of of his own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. Twelve minutes! How long is this? As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Sure enough, he had succumbed to Murphy's poison and struggled to breathe. Then he scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Cammy, whoever, Cammy, Cammy, whoever. How long is this? When they reached the village, Shinri was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wall's head. In response, Shinri let out a roar. Wars, wars, rars, whoever. And pitiful bark. Then closed its eyes and drifted off as it if into slumber. Three years later, still an intro. Peace had at last returned to Kami Village. In honor of Shirinui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened. I can't pronounce that. Stasu Nami, whoever, I don't care. It's the side of the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. I turned two dots on top. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years has passed since Naki Hitch knew his heroic exploits. It has happened so quickly that no one in the village even took a notice.
Finally something other than read. Is this the legendary sword? Is this whatever you want to call it? The sword that banished the dreaded erosion? I'm pronouncing that. I will get the proper pronunciation later on. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. You should have done that. He's apparently pissed. It trips. Oh, he seeks power. He be broken my dawn. Speak the words. I wish darkness onto the world. Utter that prayer onto, onto me and unleash my power. That's what the guy will face him. Blue eyes. White eyes. And there he goes. He runs. Are you proud of yourself, dude? He was unleashed a great evil around the world. At the world. Apparently, uh, he's chasing you. I'm tired. 60 minutes in. I'm tired. Trees. The poor trees are being destroyed and the sky is darkening. That's just great. Now, loading. Finally, something other than uh, a horrible strategy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. That tiny settlement of the I mean, village was, enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Well, it doesn't look really protected. Look at what's going on around, man. Wood Sprite? Sakura? Sakia? Sakla? How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. I'm tired. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power too has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. <coughs> Our Matsurasu. Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. We have never needed your power. Shine your divine light beyond this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become ours. Hope as you guide us all. Oh, I'm fucking tired of reading. Fucking tired of reading. Fucking tired of reading. Rebeam myself. Montonish. Kami Amatrasu. Amatras. Ah, such a divine white light. Such beauty and grace. I'm tired. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all this that is Amatrasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerged after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> Looks like he just wants to sleep. Our monster awesome. I gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since you untimely, no, untimely departure from our mist, the world has succumbed 
two diverses and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the consistent. Ah, oh, fuck it. Been worse than they are at their this very moment. Please use your power to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Or what's the what the? Has something stolen its way into my rope? Yeah, this game has some you know jokes. Well, I'm not gonna point out. He ho 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 oh he 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 he. Still here. Three minutes in, I haven't even done a single thing other than press A the whole fucking time. <sighs> Sorry for the crappy first step, so. Finally move! Yay! What's the buttons? Oh, um, what in the world? There's something blocking the road leading back to the village and... Let's go in here. <laughs> oh, the 
save mirror. There's a, yes, that's what you say, save mirrors. First one I see, I'm editing it. Awfully quiet all of a sudden. This way it's about. Sorry for speeding up, but. Uh, There's the map. First person view. And see you in the next episode. So see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going here with uh, Kami? And we're going to continue on. This is going to be a short fucking episode because. <laughs> Never mind. I'm adding, I'm adding this to the end of the last video. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in that mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. Yep, break it for the wall. Let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can always break the four wall. <laughs> you can always go back to if you get stuck or something. Had to be prepared, especially while you're soldering the ropes. Oh, um. Yes, that's. Okay, Z does the save. Checking his sweet system memory. Do 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 do. I mean, you can save. Wow. I don't think it matters. I bet it sets up as much of space you can. 30! Holy shit. Yes, you want to save, I guess. Save complete. Now I'm truly ending the episode. It's one episode, and I'm gonna merge it with the other episode, even with getting bullshit. I didn't realize this was rare. Yes. So, next time when I am fucking feeling better, oh, suddenly it's, uh, it's like the reading worn me out. Just reading. Yeah, but, um, we're gonna check out this game and die, or not. <laughs> okay, anyways, so see you in the uh, next episode, recording session, bye.